Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a tarot for animal signs and this is a monthly horoscope for the May month of May 2017 and it's for you coming from the pig family. So let me shuffle my uh, Kabbalistic cards. I like to use Kabbalistic cards because they have zodiac signs, they have uh, planetary signs and that helps me a lot. The first card that I'm going to pull it's got to do with the for the first 15 days of May and so here is the card oh dear this is not a good card for you at all you who come from the pig family firstly regarding romance it says the romance can break the romance can be a nightmare the romance can bring plenty of headache for you so your existing romance has to be very carefully looked after otherwise it's going to just break up or bring plenty of trouble for you be aware of that if you're looking for a new romance and it comes be careful that it comes with a lot of complications it can bring a lot of burdens on you and it can bring about a lot of difficulties for you well that's the news i have to give you regarding the romance situation regarding the marriage situation the trouble is almost just as bad it says that the marriage is going to have plenty of differences and arguments and even conflict and fights and so a lot of depression, a lot of trouble in the way you think, confusion, all is going to be seen in your marriage area. One of the clues is that you are being too dominating and want control. So try to erase this and maybe this will help your marriage partner not to go against you. This message is for you, not your marriage partner. So you have to make the effort. The other worry I have is of your tendency to be dominating as well and to be showing a very fiery temper. So try not to do that and let the atmosphere cool down. So your marriage situation is not very stable. Don't take it to the point of no return. Work hard to, to temper it down. Now I want to talk to you about your career and job. Here it says that you are very weak and that you are at the mercy of others could be your colleagues or could be your bosses he says that the chances of you not moving forward but instead becoming very insecure is very strong and if you are applying for jobs i would say i would rather you don't because it's only going to be negativity it's going to be somehow you not being happy with the result of it all so you might as well try not to apply for jobs during the first 15 days of um, of May. So everything regarding your job remains very negative. To hold on to your job, you have to really concentrate. You cannot afford to dream. You cannot afford to dominate. You cannot afford to be stubborn. Okay. Now let's talk of your business area. Your business area says it's all money going out and no money coming in. So even if you go to the bank to see your bank manager, I wouldn't be surprised at all if you come back with very negative news and therefore the help in business areas seems to be very minimized. So you are very lonely in business for the first 15 days. Trying to go out looking for new business, you have to be careful whether you are able to do it and carry it out. Getting a job is one thing in business, to be able to carry it out and do well is another. And the other warning I'm afraid is don't because you are so desperate in the first 15 days that you will promise too much and then cannot keep your obligations in business. I rather you just consolidate, meaning that just hold on to what you have in your hands regarding business rather than being adventurous. Now regarding health, I want to talk a bit about the first 15 days about health. It says that if you are a woman, then your gynecological areas are in great trouble, whether it's got to do with the womb or the ovaries or the breast. So go and see a, a doctor and go and check this out. And if you're a man, if you're a man, then I'm worried about your prostate gland. And since we are talking about glands, I would like you to check out your pancreas, which is, which is a gland and your thyroid gland as well. Uh, this is what I feel uh, health-wise could trouble you in the first 15 days. Now I'm going to pull out the second card for you coming from the pig family. And uh, let's see what happens. 
Now this is a much, much better card. It promises firstly in the area of romance that you are going to become lucky. And now all the words and the news you get regarding romance is very good. It could be a new romance that you have found in the last 15 days of May. Or it could be the earlier romance which now the situation becomes much clearer to you and you start believing the other party more. Anyway, there's a great big of help coming you in romance areas and you're going to benefit in the last 15 days from this romance. There seems to be a great understanding. In your marriage areas, there are plenty of um, uh, resolutions, uh, plenty of mysteries solved. And so regarding firstly finances, the news is good. And so your marriage area becomes happier because of this. Also in terms of um, negotiating with your wife or with your family members, the situation is very calm and very stable. And you'll be able to do very well in your last 15 days in your marriage areas. So plenty of bonding takes place. Regarding your job and career areas, the last 15 days bring a lot of promise. It shows the ability now to go and get what you, done and what you want and to be able to handle it well. It also shows the possibility of expansion in all areas and so plenty of good support comes your way. In the area of, uh, 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 the, that was about job and career, which I feel that you're going to get promotions, you're going to also get more money, the good news will come in the last 15 days. Regarding business, contracts are going to be yours, the business the partners or business people you're chasing for are going to be favorable for you. So be very active in the area of career and business and you will receive plenty of support and plenty of good news as well. Now I want to talk to you about your health, taking looking at both cards. What I can add in for your health is that your heart and your liver are not doing well. That is the complaint from these cards. It could be your cholesterol level may be very high or it could be something more serious. Go and see a doctor and uh, look into these areas. So the, your month of May, the first 15 days really bad in all areas, the last 15 days really good in all areas. So be patient in the first 15 days, don't rush into things, don't commit yourself too much and then you can be able to do well in your last 15 days. I'm going to read to you your good, color, your good numbers, sorry, your good dates. And these dates which I'm going to give you now will be there to help you find solutions, to help you find success, to help you find a good ending, and to basically to do very well. And the dates which have come up for you are the 5th, the 14th and the 23rd. So on the 5th, 14th and 23rd, morning, noon and night, you are very lucky. So socialize, talk to your superiors, talk to your business people, keep your romance, marriage, um, uh, for on these days and nights for wanting to discuss very important things and you will be very lucky on the 5th, 14th and the 23rd. Now for you the colors I've chosen are the colors white and silver colors. So undergarments, top garments, try and use a lot of silver colors uh, and white and the color white and uh, you will become very lucky in the sense that these colors bring a lot of positive energy for you. Now regarding direction energy, the cards, the, the, the cards say that your best direction to face is northeast. So when you face northeast, when you want to make your wishes, when you want to meditate, part of meditation is always using the power of attraction, the person you want, the things you want and how to get them. So try and face northeast. And when you face northeast, you become very lucky because the energy coming from northeast from May for the month of May is extremely powerful and good for you. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 5050 for a 90 minute Skype session. That will have to do with your next five years, which are five or six years, which I'll predict. And that will be based on your date of birth and your time of birth and looking at your palms and using Kabbalistic tarot cards as well. Do go to Facebook and look me up and uh, communicate with me. Let's make a date while you're on Facebook. So let's make a date to Skype or go to Skype and leave me a message and I'll come back to you. Until then, thank you and goodbye.